September 14, 2018 Fraser Harrison, Getty Images Let's stop banging on the pilot's door and trying to pull the guy out of his seat while he's still flying. It is no secret that Hollywood is predominantly liberal. The Washington Post's Catherine Kramer Brownell recently observed, while Hollywood has always been political, it hasn't always been as liberal as it is now, that unlike some of his predecessors, Reagan and Nixon for instance, President Donald Trump remains obsessed with his own celebrity, instead of using entertainment as a tool of governance. The New York Times recently offered three possible explanations for Hollywood's liberalism, from demography, history, and psychology. While the entertainment industry is mostly liberal, there are exceptions. Conservative actor James Woods often takes to Twitter where he has amassed a following of nearly 2 million, to express support for the Republican Party, and President Trump. Actor and comedian Tim Allen is another exception, another conservative among liberals. Around the time of Donald Trump's inauguration, Allen criticized Hollywood for bullying Donald Trump, accusing the industry of being hypocritical, according to the Business Insider. Yesterday, in a lengthy interview for Entertainment Weekly, Tim Allen defended President Donald Trump, urging America to give the commander in chief a chance. Allen, he said, had met Donald Trump once at a charity event, and the president is nothing like the man who tweets. I've met Donald Trump at the charity event years ago, and that certainly doesn't fit with the man who tweets, he said. Maybe it took this type of guy to get stuff done because it was so stuck in the mud. According to Tim Allen, instead of focusing on Trump's tweets, anti Trump America should focus on his accomplishments. Trump has, Allen claims, done great things for the U.S. economy, yet no one talks about that, because there is so much drama. He doesn't do it very attractively but you don't even realize the economy is doing better, is it? There's so much drama. I'm just watching the theater of it and trying to keep my personal opinions out of it," Alan added. What difference does it make whether I like him? Tim Allen. The Trump I've met is different from the man who tweets https colon slash slash t dot co slash eight yokes three rugvpic.twitter.com slash seven hsdn eight co eight the hill at the hill September fourteenth twenty eighteen while Allen has never publicly endorsed President Trump, he has endorsed Ohio Governor John Kasich in the twenty sixteen GOP presidential primary. Allen told Entertainment Weekly that he usually supports fiscally responsible candidates, candidates who use taxpayer money responsibly. Allen recently complained to Fox News about being unable to perform, due to fear of offending people. Much like Allen, famous comedian Jerry Seinfeld also complained about his audience getting offended, slammed political correctness, and argued that boundaries of taste are being arbitrarily moved and therefore comedy as a whole is being harmed, according to The Independent. ABC's cancellation of Tim Allen's last man standing caused an uproar, as The Washington Post put it, and the actor himself implied that the show had been canceled because the main character is a funny, likable conservative. But, Allen did not have to wait long for his show to be picked up again. Fox News took over the show. The first episode of the highly anticipated season 7 of Last Man Standing is set to premiere later this month. 